one, two, three, four, five. I thrifted it this uh, set. Six and seven I bought on eBay. So I'm doing this review. Uh, this is how it looks like. Usually they don't show the side, which is kind of they should. Like this, you can't tell what number it is. So I would like that they show both of them, but they don't always do. This one is yellow, number two. This one is kind of yellow, number three. And it opens up. Fortunately, you're gonna have to pay up 20 bucks on the shipping, so it's only worth 20 bucks. And then another 20 bucks on the shipping. This one is green. Number five is a green. And six and seven, I had to pay 40 bucks on, so I spent another 80 bucks. Whole set's worth about 150 bucks, I think. So. Sometimes maybe 200 on the high end. I'm putting the set closer to 200 with uh, 40 bucks, 50 bucks on the shipping. If you buy all of them. So let's open them up. So I bought the other two on eBay because I do not want to wait forever. Hoping thrifting will get them. Because usually I never see Star Trek. So, I was really happy to see these ones. And I checked to make sure they're all there. Little insert. Very nice. So I'm happy to have this. Well, it's opening up a lot. So I should have checked them more carefully. I'll have to go over it again to make sure all the discs are there. Because I did not check for scratches. Because so, I was really excited to see it there. Because TV shows are a big, big part of my collection now. And I'm trying to get next another Star Trek into my collection. Guess I already completed uh, Supernatural. I'm waiting on two or three to arrive, and I'll wait on number six and seven to arrive. So, hopefully, each month I could get at least one TV show coming in, depending on how much shipping they put on. Usually, I would like to buy TV shows in bulk, and then. Winter, hopefully I can get back into VHS and do some horror. Because I have my extra shelf on the side, so if I get better shelving, I'll throw these ones out. Maybe I might have to buy like a shelf for like 100 bucks. But that probably won't be till next year. And on this side, this is another two shelves I made. And those two shelves I found. Those end up costing like 40 bucks in a thrift shop, but I don't know how to get it to my home. So, fortunately, shipping costs like 50 bucks to get a shelf, and it's not worth it. But if it's uh, what you have to do to get better shelving, pay 100 bucks, then I might have to do that. But for now, this is what I want to show you: one to five. And the six and seven is on the way. Usually, I think six and seven is really hard to find. Usually, I see a lot of the lower numbers, like one, two, three, four, and the rest that you're paying up, like fifty bucks, sixty bucks, sometimes. So that's why I'm putting the value to the set closer to two hundred bucks. Putting about like forty bucks, fifty bucks each, something like that. So thanks for watching. The Star Trek thrift apart. The other two are going to be off eBay, six and seven. So I'll do a separate review from those when they come. And 
case you want to buy it for yourself look for TNG although you see it like that a lot and you don't they don't show the side so they just show like one view of it and it's really hard to tell by the numbers on online sometimes so you have to take a chance and pay up on the shipping that's why for you guys I include all the shipping in my stuff I buy whether it's a cooking gadget or it's a game or a TV show and I'll include the pricing the next guy wants because the first guy the cheapest guy is gone pretty quick then you're stuck with the high-end seller thanks for watching so sometimes you have to pay up 30 bucks 40 bucks and shipping so but at least I get what I want for my collection so thanks for watching